you and I are going to be taking Amos here on Interstate 5 to be testing out some of the latest version of FSD Beta, 11.3.3. I have the Interstate right behind me. I'm going to be doing a compilation video of on-ramps, off-ramps, and how it behaves while it's on the freeway using Navigate on Autopilot. So please join me on the flip side as we take this 2022 Model Y with full self-driving through its paces on Interstate 5 in Washington State. Thanks again, and I love it when you join me here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. I'll catch you on the flip side. All right. Hey, good, beautiful morning. It is a beautiful Tuesday. I'm going to be doing some electric vehicle shopping with my dad and we are going to be doing some testing the whole time so FSD is engaged and we are going to let it uh, navigate us to Costco where I'm going to meet my dad so we're going to get on Interstate 5 South via okay weird we don't want to I don't know why it's in this lane I'm going to turn my speed down quite a bit okay so already a little goofy and I'm not quite sure what it's doing I-5 South is the other way but we're gonna let it do its thing okay what are we doing next here, car? Oh, we're going to go through Burlington. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, well, I guess you're going to get to go for a ride through Burlington first. Uh, we'll do some uh, I-5 on-ramps and off-ramps a, uh, <laughs> a little bit later in this video. <laughs> I thought I had the navigation set uh, to take me onto I-5, but that's okay. We're going to see how the car does handling Burlington traffic. So, good way to start off the day. Not quite what we planned to begin with, but it's okay, right? We're going to roll with the punches. <laughs> Let's give you a full screen, too. All right. Yep, so we're going to go do an EV safari. Um, Tesla, me and my dad are going to go across to Skagit and Whatcom County, and we're going to check the different dealerships. So be on the lookout for that video. And uh, I'm going to be filming some FSD while we do it. And... Uh, make a compilation of the drive today which will include a lot of interstate 5 so again kind of a rocky start but it's okay we're gonna get to see everything all right good good patience nice turn and we are gonna just have a wonderful day I'm curious to see how it does on i5 I'm sure you all are too um, so thank you uh, for bearing with me from this little bit. This is just a straight shot, but we'll see how it navigates into the Costco parking lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm curious. I've heard reports that uh, it takes off ramps sometimes randomly. It doesn't use its blinkers all the time. Um, it looks at frontage road speed limits and makes odd changes. So we're just going to find out and uh, you'll ride along with me for this whole video. Probably be a little bit of a longer video and be broken up into chunks so like this first chunk will be cruising through Burlington <laughs> and then we'll have a chunk where we hop onto I-5 and go to the Kia dealership and then we'll have another chunk where we hop back on I-5 and head up into Bellingham and then heading back uh, on I-5 as well so there'll be plenty of clips of different things to see uh, so far very nice nice big visual we can see our pedestrian there no issues and I'm really loving this uh, ego the ego line very very cool what we got going on you can see it's kind of um, uh, faded out because it's letting you know where it's intending to do but it isn't moving yet and then once we start moving you'll see it gets dark and fills in quite a bit and then it also gains chevrons uh, arrows right kind of pointing in the direction of where it's accelerating or decelerating and giving you an idea what it's doing so the UI while it looks a little simpler um, you are getting a lot more information from the Ego, which is really cool. Uh, some other things we want to look out for when we hop onto the freeway, right, um, is it scooching in its lanes. It was doing that for me on Highway 20. So when I was approaching a semi-truck, it moved over so that it wasn't so close. 
Um, and I've also noticed that it's not doing that weird behavior where it would swing really wide before making a turn, almost getting into some other people's lanes. Um, so very, very good behavior there as well. And as you can see, this is like no problem for it, right? We're just cruising along. Oh, little pinch of the brakes there. Um, but overall, real smooth. I, I kind of want to see it fail because I have seen a mixed bag of people either complaining, saying, oh man, it's regressed. Their Tesla, beautiful Land Rover, or Range Rover. Uh, but other people saying, man, it's like the best thing they've ever had. And so far, I've had a great experience. But again, I'm a little more rural. And maybe my testing isn't quite as scientific, right? If you want some real scientific testing, head over to Dirty Tesla. He does a really good job. All right, so the car is blinkering. Good, we're going to go in the back way. Oh, very well done. Okay, we made it to Costco successfully. A uh, little bit boring, um, but again, you know, we're going to kind of go with it as it goes. Let's see how it handles these speed bumps. These are enormous speed bumps. And nicely done. It tried to avoid them a little bit, which I think is a smart move. Oop, didn't really slow down for that one, but it will have to slow down for this one. Oh, very well done. Okay, good. That's very natural. Oh, but that isn't. So we're going to take over right here, and uh, I will bring you some footage uh, as we get on and off the freeway. So a little bit of a weird stop there. I don't think it was going to hit that traverse, but you know, you never know. So we're going to go find my dad and bring you some footage of I-5. Okay, folks, we are going to be hopping on to Interstate 5. So this will be our first FSD navigate on autopilot attempt with a freeway merge. We're gonna head to Jerry Smith Kia in Burlington, so we'll also get off of I-5. And I got my awesome dad here with me, and we're gonna see how scary things really are. <laughs> this will be the first time I've tried navigate on autopilot with this latest FSD version. So we're gonna let the car handle the drive to Jerry Smith Kia. And then we'll bring you some more uh, footage of other on-ramps and off-ramps as we head up to Bellingham to continue our EV safari. Oh, that was nice. Let's go ahead and give you a nice big full screen. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> and you can see here the ego of the car. And again, that's going to be faded out as the car's waiting, and then it'll grow in intensity as we start to accelerate. So this ego gives you an idea what the car's doing. It'll tell you if it's wanting to go forward, if it's trying to slow down, etc., etc. And I'm kind of excited to see how it does getting onto I-5. <laughs> what do you think, Dad? I'll close my eyes. <laughs> Beautiful day here in Skagit County. It's shocking. Um, like I said, we're on an EV safari, and we've already found like a, a lot. I, I can't believe how many UEs are actually available on dealer lots. And used ones too. And used, yeah. And reasonable prices. So we're going to be checking out what they have at the Kia dealership and then we're going to go up to Bellingham and see what they've got there. All right, Mr. Carr, we need to be transitioning and getting over into our lane. That was inelegant. You need to keep going, buddy. You can keep going. Go on. Go on. Little hesitant. All right. Now we have to make a left here. Cutting the wheel, it doesn't need to. Uh, now it's being a little timid. And it should go. Uh, and we going. There we go. Now, folks, you might notice I goosed it just a little bit to let it know it should go. And uh, it's okay. Nothing, nothing all that impressive. Beautiful giant American flag. Yes, it is great Honda dealership they actually had some stuff on the lot okay here we go so we should be accelerating the car needs to get up to match highway speed interstate speeds and it's gonna run all the way out to the end of the lane like it used to in autopilot that's not any new behavior so that's a little disappointing and we should be blinkering to get over into a faster lane thought about it there it went. Okay, come on, make your lane change. With the 63. There we go. 
uh, the speedometer is about two miles slow, so we're going about eight over. Okay. And notice how the car is scooched over far side of the lane to avoid being next to that truck, so very well done. Yeah. And now it's centered itself again. Okay, that's cool new behavior. It's camping in the left lane. I don't. It doesn't really need to be doing that, but I guess we'll, we'll give it a pass for the moment. And again, the Ego is stretched way out in front of us, meaning it's got a nice clear uh, sight line. We should see a speed limit change happen here in just a moment. And okay, decided to make lane change. It did notice our speed limit sign and it increased our speed up to 80 miles per hour max, so that's good. And can we go any faster than that? And then it just dropped it back down. Okay, we're gonna make our exit. All right, very well done. So let's, oh, we're kind of accelerating faster here. There we go. Uh, not all that impressed. It didn't seem all that much better than autopilot, uh, but we'll try it again as we go up to Bellingham. We're approaching us roundabout. Let's see how it manages that. Okay, nicely done. It's coming into it at a good speed and appropriately went through it. Didn't slam on the brakes. And this is a little bit of a weird roundabout, so it needs to know what direction to go. Nicely done. Okay. So uh, our first uh, first use, oh, beautiful American flag. Our first use of uh, FSD on Interstate 5 eh, was about as good as autopilot. And uh, my dad didn't have to close his eyes too bad. So we'll check back in as we head up to Bellingham and see some more Interstate 5 action. Okay, folks, we're going to try our next... Uh, on what ramp. You, what do you feel like eating? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We got to make a left hand turn here and then we're going to hop on I 5 North and we'll see how Amos does on this little challenge. Uh, I won't play the, I'm not going to run the camera, folks, the whole time. It's boring on Interstate 5, but I will bring you clips of things that are interesting. And as we go around the lake, um, I'll probably bring you some of that too. It's kind of interesting to see the change in speeds. So here we go. Let's see how we do. And go, Mr. Carr. There we go. I'm thinking it had a hard time seeing because of this box truck in front of it, so it's probably waiting to make sure it had a clear light. And now we need to make a right-hand turn. We can see the ego is prepared for that. We'll wave at our Tesla brother. That wasn't so elegant. That could freak out people behind you. <laughs> well, that's we don't want that, right? So part of part of for me, full self-driving being like really working well is when it, it, the drivers behind you don't notice. Right. And that, it's not there yet. Right. Does it what, continue to get better, like learn more? Oh yeah, yep. Th this, this, this update here, which again, look at it folks, it's running out the whole lane. Yeah. That's not natural behavior and it's what autopilot used to do. Now this is good, immediately getting into a passing lane because it notices that our speed is, is a little bit higher. But that wasn't that wasn't that impressive, folks. And and yeah. So to your answer your question, Dad, um, this is version 11.3.3, and we should be getting a 11.3.4, which will be another improvement. But it, it's kind of like any software. As as they make improvements, some of the stuff there's unintended consequences, and it gets like worse because these are uh, neural nets now. We're not using like code. They're not writing a code that says if this then that. The computer is actually using its own electronic brain now, right? So it's doing trillions and trillions of math uh, problems a second, similar to what we do in our brains when we're using our neurons. And so when they make a change, they don't always know how it's going to affect this electronic brain and its neurons. Now let's watch the car. It should scoot as we approach this truck. As time goes on with this new upgrade, will it get better? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it will. Yep. Notice it's scooched, folks. Very cool. Now, is it watching this van? Well, at least this van was watching us, so that's good. And the, the, yes, so the cars talk to each other, and as they learn, they report back to the mothership at Tesla, and then all of the cars get updated um, with these edge cases. So as a car encounters a difficult 
thing, Tesla is able to take that back, up, feed it into the cars, and then let them learn from it. Now watch, we're going to move over again here. This behavior is very nice. I am very impressed with this. It never used to scooch. We're very um, kind of hit or miss. And we should scooch again. And we are awesome. Maintaining a good speed. So um, I will say this is smoother than autopilot has been. The on-ramps and off-ramps not so much, but the actual freeway driving has been pretty good. Now we should see if the car will want to get over. That would be the proper thing to do. Um, I'm not going to force it to make a lane change, but it should make a lane change. And, okay, that's appropriate. I wouldn't make a lane change either if this vehicle merging, but still. actually look that far ahead. So you can see how far ahead it's seen by this line. Okay. That's how far ahead it sees. Even to the right? Yep. It sees both of these lanes of traffic and then it can see that semi truck up there in front of it. Okay folks, well we'll bring you a little more footage um, if things get exciting, but again we're just on I-5 so we're really interested in the on-ramps, off-ramps and uh, new behavior. Alright, we should see a speed limit sign change the here. guy you passed? Yeah, that's the guy I passed. He's talking about a freaking phone. Nice. Very well done. It did see the speed limit. It lowered our speed. We're going to go ahead and kick our speed back up. But it is responsive to speed limit sign changes, and I have heard that it sees frontage road signs and slows down, which we'll have to kind of be mindful of. But so far, so good. We're going around the lake right now. This is a bit of a twisty, turvy route. Um, autopilot never had an issue, and I don't see why FSD would. Very nice. It's getting into its left lane for a faster route. So, so far, I, I'm not seeing all that much different from standard autopilot, uh, other than it feels a little smoother and more competent, but the on-ramps and off-ramps are not all that impressive. And I keep having to tell it to make lane changes. So there is more work to do, but hey, that's what we do this testing for. And we'll go ahead and bring you some footage as we get closer to Iowa Street and our off-ramp. Alright well, folks, we're about three miles from our destination, so we'll just see how things go as we cruise along here. What were you going to say, Dad? We can get on the old highway, on going back down. Yeah, what, uh, 11? Isn't that Chuckanette? Or do you mean the one that runs, the frontage road that runs along the lake? Yeah. Yeah, we could try that too. stuck behind a truck. Oh, well. Interesting, folks. I haven't noticed that before. So, in the past, when you would click the left or the uh, right scroll wheel, you would get your follow distance. You could get on the old highway right up here. And then that'll take you clear down to North, North Lake Savage, so. try and get over here. That was me. I initiated that lane change. Of course, now this truck that's been going hella slow gets back over. That's the way to go. Back that way. Just to come out of town and get on old Sammy. Yeah, we got to avoid some traffic on I-5. Folks are doing some construction work, so we're just kind of planning our route back. here we're less than half or about half a mile away from our exit we're gonna see how Amos does taking the off ramp I'm not gonna hold my breath but hopefully he does okay all right he's gonna have to watch for merging traffic here so let's see what he does and he basically said F you to that Mazda <laughs> but I would have too probably 
comes our exit, so let's see what happens. Uh, as I was saying though, this right scroll wheel, it used to bring up your follow distance, and now instead it brings up autopilot settings. So that's kind of an interesting change. Uh, be mindful of that there, folks. Okay, nicely done. Didn't miss its exit. Appropriate speed coming through these corners, and then immediately has to make a right at the light. So let's see how it manages that. We'll have to select the correct lane. Okay, nicely done. And then we will... And the Toyota dealers are really low on... on the Toyotas don't have anything on the no, lot. No, they don't. We didn't bend down in Birmingham either. Nicely done. So we're going to head to the Honda of Bellingham dealership first because it's closer down towards the end and then we'll work our way work our way back. Okay, the car is going to encounter an, an, an obstruction. It should go around. You need to go around, Mr. Car. Go around. Go around. Okay, I'm taking over. It seems to have lost its marbles. It should have went around that obstruction. The car um, neglected to uh, go around a vehicle stopped in the middle of the road, and so I had to take over. It had its flashers going too. And its flashers were on, yeah, indicating that it was stopped. And we are going to need to immediately get over. So let's see how the car does there. I probably put it in a bad spot. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll take it. That guy's kind of far out in his lane. <laughs> but hey, Amos did it. A little awkward getting through here. We had one disengagement. It really should have went around that other car. But we made it to Iowa Street, and we're going to continue on our EV safari. So thank you, folks, and have a wonderful day. We'll bring you some more I-5 driving in a little bit. All right, folks, we had a great lunch at Bob's Burger and Brew. Highly recommend it. And we are preparing now. Tesla, love that color. We are preparing <laughs> to head out. And the car just made a mistake. <laughs> Got a little ambitious. And Ooh. cut in there with that wow. guy. Wow, that was close. That was very close. I, close. I took over there. That was Too weird. Close. That was really weird. So I, I, I intervened. Um, yeah, there you go. That's why we pay attention. Still an SAE level, or SA level 2. Uh, but that was really close to that poor Kia. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, let's see how we do here merging on to I-5. Take your time, but a okay. little hard, hard break. It doesn't need to stop that hard. And it's still thinking, and it's making its turn. But it must have fell asleep on the rear inside there. I know, it's not, it seems like it's not doing as well, huh? Not very well. Two big mistakes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it didn't need to stop there. So again, FSD beta. Uh, it does really well in some circumstances, but this is why we have to test it everywhere. Again, why is it gotta run out this whole lane? This is exactly what autopilot does. All right, so a little more work, Tesla team, uh, on getting some improvements in and uh, not freaking my dad out. Oh, look at that beautiful American flag. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and film this. It's not a real long trip, about three miles to the Costco off-ramp, so we'll see how it does on the freeway here. Not overly impressed. And the car is loud today. There's a lot of road noise. You hear that? What? Seems like seems louder than normal in here. <laughs> it is on a on the concrete. It, it, the concrete wears down so you got the rocks sticking up. Ah uh, you get okay. And that's what gives you the noise. Occasionally they did further north they ground it. They grind the whole road. Oh, okay. So they're very, very time consuming. Grind down all the pebbles. All the top to make it smooth, but it doesn't last that long. <clears throat> that one up there maybe lasted a year or two. I will say I'm I'm surprised at how nice our roads are up here. Yeah. Um, not as rutted as some of them. Well, you know, you, you get you get over east of the mountains in, in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, even eastern Washington, and the freeways are rutted as hell. But you notice how smooth the asphalt is. Yeah. But the big thing about asphalt, you, you can't use asphalt like California. 
because of the heat. Oh, too hot, gets too soft? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not saying they don't use it, but that is the drawback to it. Right, they got to be kind of judicious in their use. Yes. So we could get over into the right-hand lane. That would be the smart thing for the car to do. I'm going to go ahead and force it over. Wasn't sure what this car was going to do, I think, is why it had that little hesitancy. And honestly, I want to ride in the right-hand lane anyway. I want to see what it does with cars trying to merge. Maybe we can get Dad to uh, loosen his bowels up a little bit. <laughs> we were talking, another beautiful Tesla, we were talking, folks, off camera just about how um, it's a little eerie for somebody to, to ride with this program if they're not used to it because there is a lot of trust and us FFSD testers we kind of get used to that trust but um, people that don't use it they don't have the same kind of level we do in it and rightly so right I mean it kind of freaked us out there right at the beginning of this last clip <laughs> yes <coughs> there, going to decent speed Nice follow distance. Let's see how we handle this off ramp. This is kind of a weird light here too when you turn left. Yeah. You have to wait for the light. Yeah, it should be kind of interesting to see on an off ramp. So I haven't had any issues with the navigation necessarily not working correctly, but um, definitely not that impressed with it on the freeway. <laughs> Good use of a blinker. I'm still very, very impressed with in-city driving. The video I made yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I'm very impressed with how it did in Anacortes, but it does feel like it's got a ways to go once it gets out here into the little bit wider world of Skagit County. I think it handled that well. These new graphics are neat. You can see as it shrinks back as the car stops, now it's gone. And then when it accelerates, you'll see the ego come back. We'll let it do that through this light, and then we'll call this uh, pretty much done. I think I'll do one more on-ramp after I drop off my cool dad. There you go, you can see the line, boom, popped up, and then as we get better, it grows. We'll have to be making a left-hand turn up here, so we're going to see if it makes a correct lane selection. There it goes. <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch the screen, isn't it? Yeah. See, I, I don't get to watch the ego as much because I'm trying to pay attention to what the traffic's doing. Going back and forth, and then as soon as you got to the turn point, it flopped on over to the left. And and that's its uh, planning network. So it's it's running through thousands of yeah. different options that it could do. Yeah. And so when you see the tongue wiggling, it, it's trying to pick between the best one. Right. There we go. Okay, it did that very nice. All right, we made it here successfully, folks. I'm gonna end trip and drop my dad off. Okay, folks, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna be merging onto Interstate 5, heading north, and we're gonna get off on Highway 20, so we're going to take the off-ramp at Highway 20, so it's just a quick half mile up the road here, and we're going to see how FSD does. Again, running out the lane, doesn't make an attempt to get over, blinker still on, and okay, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a pass, it was a little strange, especially because we need to get off right up here in a quarter mile, so you need to get over, car. You need to get over, car. You need to get over, car. And it's going to try and cut my dad off. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. And it missed its exit. Okay, that was really bad. Completely missed its exit. Got to speed up here. Okay. So we're going to try the next exit. This is Chuckanut Drive exit up here. So obviously there is still some work to do, and that is just too bad. Let's hopefully see if it makes this exit.
should see a speed base change coming. And it saw the sign, made its change. It better not try and get in the other lane because we need to exit here. Really, I'm, 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 God, I'm really kind of disappointed. I had really hoped it was going to be a lot more kick ass on the freeways, but it doesn't feel much better than autopilot. Um, in fact, it almost feels somewhat worse in some ways. Well, we successfully made it off onto this on off ramp, so I guess that's something. We're going to come up here. We've got a roundabout. We'll see how it manages through the roundabout, and then we'll let it get us onto Highway 20, I guess. I'm not quite sure what it's planning on doing. Why we're going so slow. Alright. I don't quite know what it's doing. But we're going to go with it. Okay, that was kind of an aggressive maneuver, but it did it. We're going to go around around and I think it's going to get us back onto I-5. So let's see how it does. Uh, you don't have to hit the brakes, car. That was weird. I gave it a little goose. It seemed to want to stop because of that other car coming out of the roundabout. All right. Well, we're getting some good footage here. got another goofy roundabout so let's see how it does okay so far so good and that is scenic highway 11 so Chuck and Nut drive and there's Josh Wilson Road and here's the I-5 on-ramp, so let's see how it does, getting back onto I-5. And I can tell you, if, if I was not, uh, like, if I wasn't an FSD tester, if I didn't have a bunch of patience, we should be going way faster than this to merge, car. Come on, car, we should be going way faster than this. There you go, and you're going to run the whole lane out. Um, if I was just a regular owner operator and I had paid $15,000 and it behaved in that way I would be not real happy because I mean it just wasted my time you know going out of its way to turn around to go back on top of the fact that it makes me anxious when it acts that way um, you know coming to a stop and acting funny trying to get over to its lane like it, it just it would make anybody that isn't into doing testing uncomfortable so glad that they continue to make improvements. I'm not trying to shit all over their work. They are an amazing team and they're doing a lot of great stuff, but um, uh, it wasn't quite as, as advanced as I had hoped it was going to be going to neural nets from your, your heuristic code. So, Okay, let's see here. We're on our off-ramp. We got the right off-ramp this time. Coming in a little bit uh, slower than I would probably like, but that's okay. We're going to come up here to a light and then we need to make a left-hand turn and we'll see how it does. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and my dad. Uh, he is just a great guy, him and my mom both, and uh, had a lot of fun with him today. So if you want to see some more of him, let me know in the comments. I know he enjoys hanging out with me. <laughs> At least I hope he does. And uh, we should have a great EV safari up for you tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. We found a lot of cool stuff in Skagit and Whatcom County. I was kind of surprised. So successful here. Um, we know the car doesn't usually have too much of an issue. We'll see how it does getting onto Highway 20, and then we'll probably call this video good. We'll get it edited and put up. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just, I just wish it would have done better. I just wish it would have done better, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. You can see the occupancy network kind of filling in the median between the two lines. And we can see our ego kind of wavering. It knows it wants to go left, but, you know, it's a little curious. And there it's strengthened up. And, yep, now it's got good confidence on where it's going. 
and that was a very nicely executed left hand turn I liked that so we'll go ahead and give our speed a little goose here we're gonna get the blue box around the speed limit sign if we're 50% above the speed limit so in this instance at 45 50% of 45 would be uh, 22 and a half miles an hour so we'd be going 67 68 miles an hour to get that blue box And if you guys are okay with it, we'll run a little footage going down Highway 20 just to see how FSD does. Now ideally, it would be using its blinker and moving us over into the right-hand lane. But it does not seem to want to be doing that. So I will do it for it. Nicely executed lane change. Really no issues um, with those. I mean, it's always done pretty good at lane changes. I do kind of think it's interesting. We've got the very well-defined lanes that we're in, but then our lanes over here off to the left, uh, the eastbound traffic uh, kind of is wavering in and out. So that's kind of inter interesting. And if I move us over to the left-hand lane, let's see if we get more definition on that. And yep. And that would make sense, right? We're more in the camera's field of view there, so we can obviously get a better visual on what's going on over there on the eastbound lane. But because we're courteous drivers, we ran our experiment. We get back over here to the right. All right, folks, we're going to be wrapping this video up. I'd love it if you would leave in the comments uh, anything you'd like to see. Please hit the like and subscribe. I hope you found some interest or uh, value in this. I know I did. Um, I'm much more convinced that uh, I understand what Elon said on there's still some refinement needed. Uh, and I'm glad that they're acknowledging that because it's, it doesn't really matter if it's autopilot or FSD if they both kind of behave the same. And the only really improvement that I saw was it moving out of uh, the lane, moving over in its lane so it wasn't as close to large trucks. Other than that, and maybe a little smoother in some of its uh, execution of turns and whatnot, other than that, I. I wasn't impressed. It seemed almost to be worse than autopilot. Uh, we missed our turns, wasted some time, and they made some weird maneuvers. So anyway, that's why we test. That's why we pay attention. And just thank you so much for joining me. So have a wonderful day, and I will just catch everybody on the flip side. All right, folks, we are headed home, and I'm taking a slightly different route than I have before. Obviously, we're in full self-driving. And uh, I thought I would bring you this as the capper to our video on i5 drives. Terrible. What is it doing? I'm not intervening because there's nobody behind me, but that was really bad. Um, it's handled that much better in earlier versions. So there you go. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you this uh, as a capper. There's some turns right before we get home and let you see kind of how FSD does in different areas in town too. So what we do, we did a compilation video. We've got a school zone approaching. Let's see if the car recognizes it and slows down appropriately. I'm going to tell it to go faster and see if it will ignore me when I tell it to. And no, it's going to go through at the speed that I told it to even though we're in a school zone and we saw some flashing lights. So we're going to go ahead and dial this down before we actually hit the school zone. All right. Well, that's a little disappointing. I would have would have liked to see it maybe refuse in a school zone. Uh, just like I would hope it would kind of refuse to let me pass a bus. <laughs> okay. So I can see end of school zone sign. So I'm going to go ahead and goose her up. And we're going to go ahead and see how it manages... One more left-hand turn, and then we'll call this video good. Still thinks it's 20 miles an hour. Okay, good. Stopping for stop signs. So one thing I will say... Um, I have not, in all of the driving I've done today, yesterday and the day before, I have not seen it try and run a stop sign or run a stoplight. Um, some other people have noticed some concerning behavior. 
uh, but I have not seen that at all. Good, it made a nice speed limit adjustment. Did see the 25 mile an hour speed, so it lowered me down to 29. I'm just gonna goose it up to 30. Again, the car is about two miles an hour slower than its speed, so I'm going three over. Now we'll see if the car slows down for this limited sight distance. Um, it should, I would, uh, but we'll see if it does. So again, we're approaching it. It should back off the throttle a little bit because it can't see. Good, that's nicely done. But now we could appropriately speed back up. Yep, very good. And then we're gonna approach our stop sign. We'll see how far out we have to creep to make our left. And then, like I said, we'll call it. Uh, this is a good video. We've got lots of different uh, clips of it doing different behaviors, both good and bad. But for the most part, uh, just kind of mediocre. And I honestly, I wouldn't complain if they gave me autopilot back on the freeways at this point because I was not impressed. So. How are we doing here? We're creeping. Good. Oop. Yep. And it, it, it's got this a tendency I've noticed to be a little more aggressive, but then couch that aggressiveness at the last minute and kind of act a little timid. So be, be mindful of that, right? Like what it did with that Kia as we were leaving the restaurant. That was really an aggressive maneuver. And I wasn't quite sure why it did it. And then just here we saw it tried to wanted to maybe leap out then notice so it couldn't so it, it hit the brakes so yeah definitely some refinement left to do uh, hopefully again you appreciate the honest commentary really trying to bring in what i see and as it comes and i uh, just have a great time doing this so thanks again have a wonderful day and be on the lookout for some more fsd videos why is it doing oh speed limit change okay uh, be on the lookout for more fsd videos as we continue to test and i'll just catch you on the flip side here at tesla northwest and evs all right, we got a road construction ahead, so let's see how FSD does. We're gonna have a flagger, and we're gonna see how it uh, behaves. We're gonna turn our speed down in preparation for this, so we're going slow by them. And we're gonna see how the car behaves. We're gonna be ready to take over at a moment's notice. But we're going to see if it can follow instructions okay car you see the ego isn't wanting to get over work your way over car all right I'm gonna take over it really should have seen that and moved its way over uh, autopilot wasn't getting over for road construction in the flagger and so I took over to follow the flow of traffic Yeah, so not ready yet for road construction. I re-engaged autopilot and it tried to immediately dive back into the wrong lane, so I had to take over. All right. Well, there you go. Not ready for prime time yet. Can't do road construction. Here's a pretty good shot of Tesla vision. We can see this string of cars and what the car can see as we come around this corner. Again, it's counting one, two, three, four, five cars out. It's pretty damn good. And we can see these chevrons indicating the car is slowing down and the bar pulls back all the way until it's stopped. And now as we again advance, the ego will spread out and then you can see as it slows down, it'll start to pull back and the Chevron's indicating it's slowing down and braking. And then we'll get our Ego back as it approaches our turn. Really good example of this new UI um, addition to the FSD. Okay, and there we go. Made a successful turn and we are in my neighborhood. So have a wonderful day, folks. I ended this video like half a dozen times. <laughs>